Yo, what's up guys? It's um Void Pictures here. You can call me Void. I'm here to show you guys how to use time remapping in After Effects. As you guys can see here, this um is the porn star of course, as a Kira. It's awesome. Haha. <laughs> Not really. But hey. So far, uh you're gonna have to have After Effects for this, of course, man. I mean you don't have it, you gotta go do something. I mean, you can buy it for how much it is, like a thousand, I think. But if you don't want to, you know, you can get a free trial, you try it out 30 days. But yeah. Anyways, here's the. I'm doing an entry for Simply Effects. Search, uh, search them up if you want to. So I got the song right here, you know. And then I'm gonna go to libraries. Oh, yeah, also a special shout out to. Uh, Fredo the Fool, now fill the void. His new channel is Fill the Void for showing me this. I would have never uh, thought of this. Uh, so, what you're going to want to do is, you know, I'm going to go to my projects. You know, i got a lot of projects going on right now. Go to my clips. Go check me out. My YouTube's is, uh, you know, www, blah, 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 all that YouTube shit. Uh, Void Pictures. That's my YouTube. So let me open up this Clutch Ace, whatever. It's Dragon 2. No, nah, you don't want to do that. Because cause if you get. It, it might just make the comp 1280 by 720. So let's say you want to work with a bigger size, you know, in case your clips are like 1920 by 1080 or something. Just drag in your song and then you can go to Composition, Composition Settings, or Control, control K for uh, a shortcut. And you can set all that shit right here. I might need to change this because the frames for that footage, this footage is 59.94 FPS right here. So you're going to want to drag this in. You can put this above or under, it doesn't really matter. So let's just zoom into our timeline here. Use it using this. You can op you need to open up this. Just do what I'm doing, guys. Don't worry, you guys won't get lost. So just. Just to make it on, just to make this safe. Let's just make our first uh, thing sync right here. So that would be whenever he starts. No oh wait, yeah, he gets a kill right here. So whenever he starts shooting there, just to make it easier. So you're gonna want to right click, time, time stretch. Uh, 135% and 145% is really good. This makes it slowed down. This makes the clip slowed down, and I will show you why that is important for right now. But for right now, let's um get this started. So he shoots his first shot right here, which is pretty much synced. You wanna, all right. So it's gonna be normal speed here. You're gonna wanna enable, uh, right click enable time remapping. Okay. So what what I'm gonna do is split the layer. You can do that easily. Whoa, wrong tool. What the hell is this? Whoa, monkeys and doodle shit. What the fuck is going on? Why is this pink? Why is this painting? What is this? Whoa. What is this? Some trippy shit. Whoa, that was weird. Never, that's never happened to me before. Is this tutorial still recording? Holy crap! Anyways, there is a shortcut for splitting the layer, which is Control Shift D, and I guess Control Shift D does an airbrush on my Camtasia, so I guess that's what happened. Well, you're gonna want to split the layer. Sorry, this is a long tutorial. I just Camtasia just, just fucked me right there, as you guys can see. Uh, push U on the keyboard brings up the uh, keyframes. You're gonna wanna. This is gonna be all normal speed, right? So you're gonna wanna just, you know. So whenever he's done killing this guy, you can, you know, you can split the layer again. And I'm gonna cut it short. You, you're all, you're gonna wanna do this for everything. You're gonna wanna have your audio waveform up so you can know where to sync. Let's say I wanna sync, sync it up to this part of the beat. It's just a random part, but it looks like a sync point, so I'm gonna do that. 
So I'm going to want to go, you know, search for the time where he actually kills this guy right here. So make a key, make a uh, keyframe by pressing that. And then go to right here and then drag it. And then, you know, split the layer again. And this is pretty much just how you sync. Just do this over and over again. You can do this with snipers. It's just simple time remapping. And if you want, instead of like the slow motion that I show you in this sample clip that I'm about to put up for you guys at the end of this tutorial, uh, for the slow motion, you can um you can easily do a uh, twixter on these on the uh, these parts where it slows down really. Like right here, you can use twixter in the clip, of course. So th that's pretty much it uh, for it here, and um gonna say my goodbyes to you guys love you all give me a sub and give each guard a sub uh, you guys should join simply effects as I will be competing against many good editors out there but thank you for watching this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I, ma uh, I did making this and see you guys later have a good day and happy new year's to all <laughs>